please. So, uh, we have the pleasure uh, to inaugurate today an exhibition, a photo exhibition with uh, explorative panels uh, of 20 years of work in the temple of Amenhotep III uh, in Komele Hattan in Luxor West Bank and the uh, minister just honored us by uh, opening it, the minister of antiquities. Um, His Excellency has always supported our works. So uh, we present with these panels how the site was before, when we arrived, there was almost nothing. Only the two colossal statues at the entrance, one stella, and other pieces of uh, unidentified things lying. Within these 20 years, we lifted and our, uh, we lifted uh, monuments, and our aim is to conserve all monuments which we found in their, to conserve and to lift them in their original place, to show them in their dignity to the uh, future visitors of the site, not only to tourists, but also for all the surrounding and the, the, it's, it's their heritage, by the way. So this is our aim. In, with, with this, we are sometimes some of the monuments as the stella, which we lift at the northern stella in the court, it's more than 200 pieces. One colossal statue, it's thousands of uh, pieces. Uh, we uh, progressively, over years, document these pieces, we join, and then we, uh, we lift them, we raise them at their original place. Slowly, a temple which was the largest and the most richly equipped of all temples of its kind, it's the, what we call the funerary temple of Amenhotep III. In reality, the Egyptians, or Amenhotep III himself, uh, and the kings of the New Kingdom called them temples of millions of years. For millions of years, this temple was supposed to uh, prosper and to receive yearly the procession of Amon coming from Kala. For that, he, uh, and they knew every year the procession of Amon would cross the Nile and come. It was a kind of insurance for the kings. So in this, tem this temple, being the most prestigious, the largest, and also built in a period of the highest expansion of Egypt, uh, the wealthiest time, first century, uh, first half of the 14th century. Unfortunately, it's the one which was the most mishandled by nature. Some 150 years after the uh, construction, the finishing of the temple, a very heavy earthquake shook and destroyed the whole thing in 1200 BC. Except the two colossal statues at the entrance, what we call now Memnon, and, uh, and some, some pieces lying there. After the earthquake, it was immediately quarried away by all the surrounding, uh, uh, all the uh, temples surrounding uh, this. Until the Roman times, it was quarried away. In the Roman uh, pylon of Medine Tabu, you, found, you find pieces of uh, um, of uh, uh, columns with the name Nebmatre. So, after all this, and then the inundations come, the floods from the mountain, the original ground of the temple lies three meters before the actual ground. And we uh, excavate to identify the objects, and when we identify, we try to conserve them. That's our aim. And this, during the 20 years, we lifted one monumental stella, smaller stella, we lifted statues, two colossal statues, two other colossal statues in the north. This is uh, what uh, the exhibition is about. Thank you very much. Dr. I thank, thank you. you very much. Thank you. Thank you.